four, three, three two, two, one. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year, y'all. <laughs> Happy New Year. I remember this New Year and here with my patient. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I feel all emotional saying goodbye to 2016 just because, yeah, it may have been a very hard year. It still brought me some good memories. Yeah, good memories. And we brought in the New Year with our nurse. <laughs> <laughs> or my nurse <laughs> so yep we're waiting for 12 12 to do our celebratory shot of apple juice and cranberry juice and I know I think I have explained this every year but I'll have Garrett explain it why do we do it at midnight and 12 12 because when you're at the annual get to get New Year's get together a couple of my uncles were so drunk they didn't realize that we had already rang in the new year. So we decided to do it again at 12-12. And it's just been a tradition since. In the past few years, Garrett hasn't been able to go to the beach and do it. So he's been with us since we're always in town. And we always celebrate at 12 and 12-12. And it's almost 12-12. Should I pick a song to ring in the new year with? <gasps> yeah. Awesome. I love you. I love you too. Where are you? I'm still at the doctor's, baby. Then why you still turning? Huh? Oh, Happy New Year's, guys. It's 1 a.m. and I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. I will see you guys whenever I wake up. And yeah. Hey guys, it's 10.01 and I mean I'm in pain and I'm just more depressed than anything. Like I'm just scrolling through Facebook and I'm seeing everybody with their family and everything like that and I'm just here in this room. The GI doctor came in and pretty much just told me that he wants to do surgery. Which same thing he said yesterday, except that the surgeon is extremely busy and he wants to wait till six weeks postpartum, which I'll be six weeks postpartum on Tuesday. But I'm hoping he does it maybe before then. And then um, I have to wait for the surgeon to come in and then I have to wait the physician to come in and when the physician comes in I'm gonna ask if I can eat since I'm not having surgery until Tuesday because I am freaking starving it's ridiculous I got some red jello So the surgeon came in. Let me get in. All right, so um, the surgeon came in and he said that I have to wait at least six weeks. I have to wait at least six weeks um, after I have a baby and I had her almost six weeks ago. It'll be on Tuesday, so I will be getting my gallbladder out on Tuesday.
Tuesday. It is Sunday, so that's only two more days away from my baby. Babies. All right, I guess let me let everybody know. They gave me new sheets and blankets and stuff. And yeah, so I'm still wearing my leggings and that. And then I'm just wearing one of my old maternity shirts. So um, I have like this like extremely old. So now I'm gonna walk quickly while I am um, not hooked up so I don't have to push the damn thing to I'm gonna walk quickly to the to get my water and then I'm gonna probably hook me back up and then when it gets a little bit darker out I might go and walk a little bit just to relax because I don't think anybody else is coming to see me today because my friend just left so let's go get water I love you. I love you too. You behave okay? Okay. Alright, so for dinner I get to have this stuff and then a jello and a salad. I'm gonna go ahead and eat it now even though I'm really not that hungry. But that way, um, cause I just took pain medicine so that way I can actually get it under control and um, I don't get sick. And then shift change and then I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs>
so I think that is going to be the end. I'm going to go ahead and stop vlogging, but there might be something else that happens. Um, pretty much I am tired. I got my medicine. And I'm going to go ahead and put the battery and the charger. And I will see you guys tomorrow.